हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई न्यू डाटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एलगोरिथम इन जावा ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज वीडियो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड मिडिल नोड इन ए सिंगली लिंक लिस्ट इन जावा सो फ्रेंड्स इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द मिडिल नोड इन ए सिंगली लिंक लिस्ट वी नीड टू कंसिडर टू केसेस वन वेन द लिंक लिस्ट हैज इवन नंबर ऑफ नोट्स एंड अदर वेन द लिंक लिस्ट हैज ऑड नंबर ऑफ नोट्स सो करेंटली इफ यू सी दिस लिंक लिस्ट इट हैज इवन नंबर ऑफ नोट्स If we count the number of nodes, then it has four nodes, which is ten, eight, one, eleven. In order to find the middle node for this link list, there are two possibilities that the middle node can be the second node and the third node. So for this algorithm, we will say that the middle node would be the third. Now, if we suppose the link list has odd number of nodes, that is ten, eight, one, eleven, fifteen. So this link list has five nodes. and if you want to find the middle node then it's the third element so here the third element is the node having the data is 1 so let's move ahead and see the demonstration how to find the middle node in a singly linked list so friends first we'll consider a linked list with even number of nodes so here if you see that a linked list has four nodes having the value as 10 8 1 11 11 where the head points to the first node which is 10 and if you see below then this is the algorithm to find the middle node of a singly linked list so let's see the demonstration of it so first we'll create a node with a name slow pointer and we'll assign the value of head to it so if you see head points to the first node so when we'll create the slow pointer it will point to the first node now moving ahead now we'll create another node which is the fast pointer and we'll assign the value head to it so it would be something like this moving ahead now in order to find the middle node the idea behind this algorithm is there is a slow pointer and there is a fast pointer so we'll traverse this list one by one and we'll make slow pointer traverse one node at a time and the fast pointer two nodes at a time so when the fast pointer will reach the end of the list slow pointer would be the middle of the list and the iteration of this slow pointer and fast pointer would be in this while loop so currently this while loop has two conditions that first we'll check that fast pointer is not equal to null and fast pointer's next is not equal to null so if you see the fast pointer is pointing to the first node which is not null and fast pointer next which is the second node it is also not null so therefore this while loop gets executed so the first statement says that we need to assign slow pointer's next value to the slow pointer so it simply says that we need to traverse the slow pointer to its next value so slow pointer points to first node and its next value is points to the second node so we'll traverse slow pointer to the next node moving ahead so now we need to traverse the fast pointer twice we traverse the slow pointer so currently the fast pointer points to the first node which is 10 and its next is points to 8 so we need to assign the fast pointer next next value so fast pointer next would be 8 and its next would be 1 so it would be something like this so this is fast pointer next and this is fast pointer next next so this value will be now assigned to the fast pointer moving ahead so now we'll again check whether fast pointer points to null so currently it doesn't points to null and its next value is also not null so fast pointer next is 11 which is also not null so thus the while loop gets executed so here now we'll traverse the slow pointer to its next value so currently its slow pointer points to the second node we'll traverse it to its next value moving ahead and now we'll traverse the fast pointer to its next next value which is so this is the fast pointer next and we'll traverse it to its next value so now fast pointer is pointing to null and now we'll again check whether fast pointer equals to null or not so currently the fast pointer equals to null 
therefore this condition comes out to be false and while loop breaks out and then simply will return the slow pointer because now slow pointer is at the middle of the linked list so friends this was a demonstration for the linked list having even number of nodes let's see for the odd number of nodes so currently this linked list has 5 nodes which is 10, 8, 1, 11 and 15 and the head points to the first node which is 10 so the algorithm is the same and we'll just see how it works so first we'll create a slow pointer and assign a value of head to it so it's so the slow pointer will point to the first node then we'll move ahead and create a fast pointer and value of head will be assigned to it which is the first node so first here we'll check whether fast pointer is equal to null or not so here if you see fast pointer points to the first node which is not null and then we'll check that whether fast pointer next is null or not so fast pointer next which is the second node is also not null therefore this while loop condition comes out to be true and and our execution will enter the while loop so in the first statement we'll traverse the slow pointer to its next value moving ahead and similarly we'll traverse the fast pointer by two nodes which is fast pointer next to next value so it would be something like this so we'll again execute the while loop and we'll check that fast pointer points to null so currently fast pointer points to the third node which is not null and its next is also not null therefore the condition in while loop comes out to be true and while loop executes so we'll assign the slow pointers next to slow pointer moving ahead similarly we'll traverse the fast pointer by two nodes which is assigning fast pointers next to next value to fast pointer so it would be something like this Similarly, this while loop ends and we'll again check whether fast pointer points to null or not. So currently fast pointer is not null, but fast pointer next value. So fast pointer's next value is null. Therefore, this while loop condition comes out to be false and while loop breaks out. And finally, we'll return the slow pointer. So currently the slow pointer is points to the third node, which is the middle node of this singly linked list. So friends, let's go to Eclipse and see the working of this code. So friends, in my previous tutorial, I created a class by name singly linked list. So in this demonstration, I have just created a singly linked list having four nodes at 10, 8, 1, 11. And if I print this linked list on the console, so you see the linked list as 10, 8, 1, 11 and then null. So friends, in order to find the middle node of a singly linked list, first we'll write a method, say public and the return type of this method would be the list node. So this would return the middle node of the singly linked list. And let's say we give the method name as get middle node. So friends, first we'll check whether head is pointing to null or not. So if head is null then simply return null moving ahead we'll create a list node by the name slow pointer and we'll point it to head similarly we'll create another node fast pointer and we'll assign a value of head to it so moving ahead, we'll create a while loop and in this while loop, we'll place the condition as fast pointer is not equals to null which we saw on the slide and fast pointer dot next is not equals to null 
So friends, in order to find the middle node, we have provided a condition that fast pointer should not be null and its next also should not be null. So here, so inside this while loop we'll say slow pointer equals slow pointer dot next. We'll traverse the slow pointer by one and we'll traverse the fast pointer by two nodes. And after this, we'll just return the slow pointer. So this slow pointer will be pointing to the middle node. And in the main method, we'll create list node middle node equals SLL. And we'll call the get middle node. And below it, we'll just print out the data into it. So we'll say middle node is middle node dot data and here if I run the program so here you can see the middle node is 1 so this was for even number of nodes now let's say if I add one more node and I will give the value as say 15 and now if I run it so you can see the linked list has 5 nodes 10, 8, 1, 11, 15 and the middle node is the third node which is 1 so friends this was the tutorial on how to find the middle node in a singly linked list I hope you like this video please like, comment, subscribe my youtube channel Thanks, have a nice day.